Hey guys, hi. So in this video, we are going to talk about when do we use two pointer technique, right? So if you guys remember, in the last video, we saw what does two pointer do. So two pointer is generally is applicable only on linear data structure, and it involves more two or more than two pointers, which are actually playing around with the linear data structure, and we are moving in certain direction. Okay, so there is a logic which which we have to follow in order to move both of these pointers or more than two pointers in general. And this will help us optimize our problems, right? So now the question is, when do we apply two-pointer technique? Like, right? since it's not a primary data structure, not an algorithm, how do we identify whether the problem which is given to us can be solvable via two-pointer or not, right? So in this video, we will look after certain properties of a question which will actually hint us towards using two-pointer, right? So the very first technique which we have to follow up is basically when the question is solvable in nested loops right so suppose if the problem or basically i would say can be reduced from nested loop to a single pass right so one important factor here is like let's suppose if the question can by brute force weight be solvable by o of n square of o of n q and we can easily see ki it should be done in o of n which is a linear time complexity then we have to think about two pointer technique like what kind of questions can arrive here a very simple one would be let's suppose if we are given an array or some random values or basically let's suppose we are given a sorted array and we have to find out two different values a and v both of which actually sum up to a specific value x right so we have to find out such a such a kind of two values a and b which will sum up to the given value which is x x and the array is given to us in the problem and we need to find out the indexes of a and b right so this kind of problem we can easily solve it via two pointer how do we solve it is like we'll see it in later sessions but if we look at the brute force we are solving this we have to pick up one particular element and then traverse through rest of the array and find out whether adding up this particular value to any of the other value will result in x or not right or we could apply binary search as well we find out one particular value we reduce it from x let's suppose this value is i we reduce x minus i and then we apply binary search on x minus i in the remaining array and see whether this kind of value exists or not if the value exists we return the index of this value right but this can also be done by a two pointer we'll see how in the later sessions but this is just an example of a problem which is actually which was looking like a o of n square problem but which is solvable in linear time right so that's basically one property of a question which can actually help us uh, which would hint us towards using two pointers right the other kind of property is if the if the input is sequenced or sorted in nature Okay, so this is a very important property with respect to two-pointer. Generally, two-pointer does not work in a random array. Uh, if the sorted array is given to us and it is asking a certain property of a sorted array, then we, sh we should use two-pointers. Okay, one small example here is like the question which you solved in the last uh, session, which you guys if you guys remember, wherein multiple values are given in a sorted array and we need to, like, we need to remove all the duplicate values, right? So this kind of problem is given to us. And we need to remove all duplicates, right? Now this problem can be solved in a brute force manner as well. But in our case, since it is sorted in nature, we should look towards using two pointers. Why two pointers can be applied here? Because we don't need to actually uh, do the arrangement of the values, right? If the arrangement is already provided, then we can directly apply two pointer techniques on this, right? So that's also one particular property of a question which we need to look after. The other property which we need to see is where we need to make So the other property is when we need to make swaps between indices, right? So let's suppose we are given a range of values and we need to swap some values in order to reach 
are logical array or maybe the kind of logic which is given in the question right so if we are given an a and we need to get a dash and a dash is nothing it's just a reordering of certain elements using some logic so the logic could be given in the question the logic could be uh, move all the duplicates value together right this could be one logic or the other logic could be uh, i need a zigzag kind of pattern right in the in the array like if one value is uh, like the next value is bigger than the other then the other value should be smaller than the next value like one three two uh, five four here it is increasing but this is decreasing this is increasing this is decreasing right so these kind of pattern wherein we have to make swaps between multiple indices and we have to read or reorder our original array uh, via some logic we we have to make sure like we have to take two pointer into consideration when these kind of questions are asked right so that's also one particular technique which we need to take care when a question is given the other kind of property of a question with which we can identify a two pointer is basically partition of an array okay so now partition of an array you can easily uh, move on and think about merge sort quick sort but in this case partition could be a logical partition as well right a logical partition could be uh, i need all the all the odd numbers and all even number of values or the partition could be keep on partitioning the array unless and until uh, the the part the the sub partition is actually sorted in nature right so this kind of question uh, although there are not many questions there are only one or two profiles of such questions but they can also be solvable via two pointer technique right so if you are seeing a certain type of partition which is asking in the question then we also need to consider two pointer solution right now the last one which we need to see is basically when we need to compare a value So the other kind of uh, pattern which we, we can notice here is when we need to compare a value on index one with some other value which is on which is present on index two, right? So comparing value is going to be difficult for us more or less. Uh, like these kind of problems can also be solved via sorting. But in our case, if we are comparing two different kind of values, right? So definitely it's going to be a O of n square solution because when we are comparing, in worst case scenario, we need to compare all the elements, right? If we are given n number of elements and we are and the question is asking us to compare, do some kind of comparison between elements, it's going to be O of n square because we need to compare all we need to create all different kind of combinations, right? So here also we need to consider a two-pointer kind of solution. We can wherein we can actually start at two different indexes right just if you remember the very first question which you did in last session which was uh, around verifying whether the string is which whether the string given is palindrome or not right so in that particular question we were actually comparing two different values right the question was asking us to compare the symmetry from the center right the question was asking us whether the given array is symmetric around the center or not okay so similar kind of questions could come could come up as well in our problems and when we have to compare two different values which are e not equidistant from each other then we need to consider two point okay now these are all like just five kind of intuitions which can help us uh, verify whether the question can be solvable by two pointer or not uh, but there is also one more thing which was uh, not every time a question could be solvable by two pointers right so before applying two pointers we need to thoroughly verify whether actually is it a two pointer question or not right now how to thoroughly verify there are certain patterns uh, with respect to two pointer which we need to study uh, which will actually directly help us validate whether the question is a two pointer question or not right so in the next video we are going to see these kind of patterns of like the most commonly used two pointer patterns which we apply in questions and see like how we can uh, come up uh, with the identification of a two problem two pointer problem or not Right? Sure. Thank you.